Okay, next up we have electrical datum plane. Now, this term is only used in two articles in the NEC. It's used in Article 555, which is marinas, boatyards, uh, floating buildings, and similar installations. And then also Article 682, which is natural and man-made bodies of water. So the electrical datum plane is defined as a specified distance above a water level, above which electrical equipment may be installed and electrical connections may be made. All right, so the electrical datum plane depends on a few different factors. Uh, first of all, is this area subject to tides, right? So if, if we have rising and falling tides, then that's going to change the electrical datum plane. If my, if my body of water stays relatively the same, I mean, obviously, you know, lakes and rivers, they, they, they rise and fall. But whether or not you are subject to tidal fluctuation has a, a big factor on your electrical datum plane. Another thing that changes the electrical datum plane is the type of pier that we have. Is this pier a fixed pier or is this pier a floating pier? Now, in the picture here, this appears to be a floating pier. I took this picture, but it was a while ago. Uh, I believe this is a floating pier. So the pier is attached to these columns, but the columns allow them to go up and down, right? So what is the electrical datum plane? Well, that's again, a, a line in the sand where we say above this, you can put stuff and you can make terminations. Now, exactly where the datum plane is depends on those other factors. And that's where you'd want to go to 555.3 or go to 682.5 to determine where the actual electrical datum plane is. Uh, by the way, in the 2023 code, uh, it looks like we're going to add electrical datum plane to Article 551, which is for RV parks as well, which makes sense. If I have an RV park that's right next to a river or the ocean, uh, it makes sense that we need to establish where we may and may not have electrical equipment and terminations. So that's your electrical datum plane. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.